Welcome to Channel 99 News at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 10.30. I am Little Bo. And I'm Big Bo. And breaking news, the Harlem has got the shakes. So hide your kids, hide your wives, and hide your children. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I've got bronchitis. <laughs> In other news, Squeakers the panda at the local Brownsville Zoo has gone missing. They fear that there's a pandemic. A pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> and another news, make sure you wear your shoes. Fleas and dogs are walking around. And that could be bad news for the dogs. Isn't it? <laughs> In entertainment news, the artist formerly known as Lady Gaga has changed her name to Lady Goo Goo. I like a dude to Gaga. I like a dude to Goo Goo. This just in. Lady Goo Goo has officially changed her name to Lady Gaga. <laughs> Those entertainers. <laughs> Let's get out there and see what the weather's like with our own Sunny Storm, that crazy weather guy. <laughs> Sunny! I hope he's taking his medicine today. <laughs> oh, uh, hi everybody, it's Sunny Storm! Blue, is it cold outside today? We got a nice cold front coming in, and we're gonna give you that weather in just a minute here at the news station. Hey everybody, Sunny Storm here, and we got a nice cold front coming in on the northeast western side of the United States. Sometimes I mix up my east and my west. I guess that's just what all people do, right? Well, right here we have our cold front. As you can see, there are icicles. What? Icicles? The blue is symbolizing the cold front coming in. Notice, whenever you look at a weather map, you're going to see this for a cold front because boys are going to get chilly. See the icicles? Or oh, you know what else you can see? Vampire teeth. <sighs> you know what I mean? Those vampires are always so cold. I wonder if vampires drink milk. Well, I did see something on YouTube on the Chupacabra. Back to Sunny. Hi ah, guys, back to me, Sunny Storm, your weather guy. Now that we're down in Texas, you can see here we have a warm front. Look at the shape and notice how it looks like sunglasses. Even look at the color. And there's only one thing I like better to beat the heat, and that's a nice pair of sunglasses for this sunny weather that we'll be having. You know, those sunglasses are gonna come in handy when the polar ice caps finally melt. I know I hate it with my ice melts. In drier news, back to sunny. All right, everybody, welcome back. And now we're looking at the southeast side of the US. As you can notice here, we have a different symbol. It looks like if I took the cold front symbol and the warm front symbol and kind of mixed them up. That is called a stationary front. Look at the symbol. Make sure you memorize that. Notice how one side has the icicles and one side has the sunglasses. That's because two fronts came together, a warm and a cold. They hit each other and stopped. Now, you may be noticing I'm wearing my regular news jacket because the temperature varies on this one so much, so much, you can't really tell. One day it could be rainy, one day it could be cold. And we know about those weathers, but remember that. You will see this symbol for a stationary front. Always make sure to remember that! Interesting front, a stationary front. What does that mean? It's like a station. Just airy. Hello everybody, now I'm back again. And if you see here, look up in the northeast side of the map, we have a new type of front. Wait a minute, that's not a color I recognize. It's no red, no blue. It's purple. Well, there's a reason why it's purple. Because that's a special type of front. That is what you call an occluded front. Occluded, you may be asking. Well, an occluded front is when you have a warm air mass. Now imagine a cold air mass and another cold air mass meet up. Now, during this one, you're going to be having horrible weather. You're going to be having blizzards. 
You're going to be having rainstorms. You're going to be having gale-like winds. This isn't going to be good for anybody. Wait. Oh, wowzers, is it cold up in here? Man, we got some of those freezing temperatures. Great thing I had my parka to protect me from this all oh, breezy weather. This is nothing like a cold front, because this weather will be going on for days. Oh, I don't think I can stand it. I'm gonna have to bundle up next to a firearm to be able to survive this one, I do say. Well, this has been Sunny Storm with your weather program, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna be go curing my feet from frostbite. I know I put on my shoes so I won't get bitten by my dog. Frost. Sounds rough. We want to thank all our viewers tonight for tuning in to Channel 99 Nightly News at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and 10.30. This is Little Bo signing off. And this is Big Bo. We're going to leave you with uh, closing thoughts from Sunny Storm. Enjoy. Hi. Hi, everybody. Sunny Storm again. And now I'm time to mention your pressures. You have two different types of pressures in weather. You have your high pressure, which is symbolized by an H on your weather map. This high pressure pushes downwards, and because of this, you're gonna have nice weather because of minimal convection going on because of this downward pushing. You're gonna have clear skies, minimal cloud coverage, minimal rain. This is perfect weather, a nice breeze rolling in, though, because of this high pressure, it even has its counterpart. The low pressure, symbolized by an L on the weather map. The weather this one brings is massive rains and precipitation. Horrible hot weather. This is not the ideal one because this one pushes up. And because of this upward pushing, it causes more convection to happen. All this convection happening at once speeds it up. And because of all this speed up, this is why you get the bad weather. Remember, you have two different types of pressures. Each one does its own job. Then hear of the wonderful world of weather with Sunny Storm.